What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can level up really fast inside of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So, we're going to be going through kind of how you can level up the fastest way, and basically use this to be able to get some really powerful high-level Pokemon. And the good news about this is that you can do this very early into the game if you want to do it while you're playing through your main adventure, or you could do this into the later game if you want to kind of have some really powerful Pokemon if you've already beaten the game and you just want to level up some Pokemon fast. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. So it's really cool because you can pretty much actually do this even if you have not done any of the Titans, any of the gym battles or anything like that. So it is a really cool thing to do. So I'm going to show you guys how you can level up really, really fast. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're actually going to need to go and prepare for this because we're going to be using the sandwich making feature, which is a part of these games. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is head on over to Mezagaza, which basically has the ingredients. We're going to go over here to the west side, which is the closest way to get to the shops. And we're going to make some preparations first and buy the ingredients that we're going to need to make our sandwich. The reason that we're going to need the sandwich is because the sandwich is going to make it really easy to find the rare Pokemon that we're going to need in order to be able to level up our Pokemon really fast. So once we arrive here, we're just going to go around here and go into these shops here that sell some stuff. And we're going to be using that to buy the ingredients that we need to make our sandwiches. So the first one you're going to head into is this red building right over here. We're going to go in. It's going to be called Shirt Cans. We're just going to go to buy and what we need here are some pickles. So you're going to buy as many as you can here. If you're very early into the game, you might not be able to afford that many. I'm just going to buy 10 here for this tutorial, but you can buy as many as you want. You can buy 20, 30. Uh, this is basically going to be like how many times, uh, you know, you're going to be able to make these sandwiches to be able to level up your Pokemon. So the more money you have, the more you're able to buy, the better it is. Uh, after that, you're going to come over here to the left and go into this shop right here. And this is going to have the rest of the ingredients that we're going to need. So here we're going to buy some ham. So we're going to go and buy 10 hams. All right. Then we're going to need some mayonnaise. So let's buy 10 mayonnaise as well. And then lastly, we're going to need some mustard. So we're going to buy 10 mustard here. And then that should be good. All right. So now that we have all of that, what we're going to be able to do now is go to the location where we're going to be able to do this. So to get to that location, we're going to go to our map right here. And what we need to do is get to the very top all the way over here with this uh, ice area here with the uh, Glacidio Mountain. Basically, we're going to get to this uh, point right here at the top. It's called North Province Area 3. Now, you can get to this spot even if you have not unlocked any of the like the ways to travel on Coriadon and Maridon by like flying or climbing or anything like that. Just by walking around in the region, you will be able to find a path to end up here if you really wanted to. Though, I really recommend that if you do want to use this kind of method to level up and stuff, you can do it in the early game, but I personally think you should come here at least in the kind of like late 20s or high 30s at the earliest but like coming here while you're in the level like 30s or 40s should be perfectly fine but it's really up to you so what we're going to do here now if you're coming here in the very early game these are going to be some high level pokemon so i would recommend kind of avoiding that but we're going to come over here and get into this uh, flat area right over here and we're going to set up our picnic right around here should be able to let us do that there we go all right, so now all our Pokemon are going to come out, but we're, all we care about here is going to the picnic and clicking on making a sandwich. All right, so the cool thing about this is that I already have a lot of different sandwiches, but the cool thing here is that you are going to be making the very basic sandwich that everybody should have by default. Uh, as soon as you unlock the sandwich making feature, it's number 80. It is called the ham sandwich. It's very easy to make. That's what we're going to be using. So yeah, we can see right here. Our, our mayonnaise and mustard being mixed into here and now we're going to be making our ham sandwich so we're just going to pick up our ham and place it like that pick up the other ham place it like that pick up other ham place it like that pick up our pickle place it like that pick up the other pickle put it in the middle and then we're going to take our last one and put it like that. There we go. And then finally, we're just going to put our bread on top and then put our pick. And we should be able to see right here in the corner, we got our three star ham sandwich. But if we take a look in the corner, it says here encounter power normal. And that's what we're going to be using here because that is going to help us find some rare Pokemon. 
So now that we're done with pretty much all of that with our sandwich making, we're just going to exit out of our picnic here. And what we're going to be able to do is if we press the right button on our D-pad, we can see how much time we have left here with our meal power. So at the bottom here, you guys can see it says we have 29 minutes and 40 seconds right now. So it'll tick down for about a half hour that we have. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be trying to battle a Pokemon known as Chansey. Chansey gives us a ton of EXP and that's what we're going to be trying to do here. So the first thing I'm also going to do now is the Pokemon I'm going to be using for this example is Larvitar. It's a pretty strong Pokemon once you obviously get it into Tyranitar. Right now it's a very weak Pokemon though, only at level 24. But also if you've actually made progress within the game, you should be able to have an item known as the Lucky Egg. Uh, if you've beaten, I think, around like six or so gyms, you should be able to have the Lucky Egg. That's how you're able to uh, get the item. Uh, usually, like in the middle of the game, one of the characters will give it to you. Oh, actually, my Lucky Egg, I forgot. It's on my Gyarados. I got to take it out of my Gyarados. Uh, let's see here. Put away held item. There we go. And now we're just going to go back to Larvitar. I'm going to click give item to hold. And then let's see here. Should be in here. So yeah, if we give the Lucky Egg, that's going to be able to give us even more EXP. So if you've made some progress and you've actually done like six gym battles or so, you should be able to find, uh, you should be able to have the Lucky Egg. But now we're going to see right here, there's a lot of Chanseys that are appearing. Now, the thing about the Chansey is that these Pokemon actually will run away if you just try to run up to them. So they're, they're like very shy Pokemon. So instead, you're going to have to press B to crouch like how I am. And then you're going to have to walk up to it, hold the ZL button to aim, and then throw a Pokeball at it and initiate a battle. So there we go. Now, I would recommend battling like this. Uh, these are gonna be high level Pokemon, but Chansey should not have really a lot of stuff that you're gonna be able to do. So Chansey's are gonna be using normal attacks and stuff. Now I'm gonna be using a very, uh, I'm gonna be using a Larvitar here. It knows Brick Break, so that should help us. But uh, Chansey is going to be damaging us here too. Now, if you have like Ghost Pokemon, this makes it the easiest because Ghost Pokemon actually don't even uh, get affected by Chansey's attacking moves. So I'm going to show you guys as an example here first. Uh, and then I'm probably just going to speed up kind of just me going through a couple of Chansey's so you guys can get the idea. But yeah, we're, I'm going to be using Screech now so it just makes it easy for us to, to kill the Chansey. So we lower its defense and now I'm going to hit it with a Brick Break. Setting up a light screen, uh, that doesn't matter. We should be able to break it with our Brick Break too, but uh, we're just going to be able to do that. And yeah, we're doing massive damage now because of our Screech also. We're just going to hit it again. It's going to go for a double edge. Should not knock us out. There we go. All right, let's go for a Brick Break again. And there we go, knocked it out. And that should give us a lot of EXP now. Let's see how much we get. 10,000 EXP. So we got to level 28. There we go. Oh, there we go. Wow, we got... Was that a crit? No, it, okay, I guess it just had a really low defense. There we go. So, now we got that there. And I think we're good to go. Look at that. Our Larvitar is already evolving too. How cool is that? So, we already got from like level 24 to 30. And we're already going to have our Pupitar right there. But I think you guys get the idea now. So, I'm just probably going to speed up kind of the process now. So, you guys can kind of get an idea. And then I'll come back at the end here and just show you guys the process of this and how much it helped me out so yeah you guys can watch this little speed up here and then i'll come back All right, so we've been taking out a whole bunch of Chanseys for a while, and I think we're just about to have our Pupitar finally evolve into Tyranitar. So yeah, it only took me like a good couple of minutes or so. I've just kind of been grinding Chansey here. Uh, it's a good thing we have Brick Break on this Pokemon, so it's very easy because Chansey has a low defense stat, so we can just take it out. But yeah, I think we're good to go. And yeah, there we go. Got it to level 55. And yeah, Pupitar is finally gonna evolve into the menace that is Tyranitar. And it's crazy. This is honestly one of the best ways to be able to level up. As we can see right here, we got our all-powerful Tyranitar. And remember, we started here with like a level 20-something Larvitar. And we evolved that into Pupitar and evolved that into Tyranitar. Very easy way to level up. Obviously, if the Chanseys run out or if we press uh, the right button on our D-pad, we can see how much time we have left. We've got about 14 minutes or so 
of the meal power remaining. And obviously if the meal power runs out, all you gotta do is just go ahead and make another ham sandwich and you can keep doing this. You can keep doing this with Pokemon to level up and the chances are just gonna be here all over. It's really one of the best ways that you can do to level up really fast. So yeah, I mean, hopefully this, this video helped you guys out because this is a great way to be able to level up if you want to have some really strong Pokemon while you're playing through the game or there's just some Pokemon that you want to grind and level up but you don't know the fastest way to do so. Definitely our good friend Chansey here can help you with that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to click that like button. Also comment down below and let me know how you guys are feeling about the game. Are you having a lot of fun with it? Definitely be sure to let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more content about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet very soon. Also go and give me a follow on Twitter at actual arrow if you ever want to be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to go and join that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching.